Hey guys, it's Botsfire 2008 and it is the 4th of December. Uh, you can see my face. I've shaved. Uh, I had an interview at AMC Movie Theaters, uh, which I thought was going to be an interview, but it didn't turn out. It was actually like a cattle call and basically the morons that work there at AMC uh, got 15 people in one room and just decided to say okay I'm gonna pick you you and you you know for a one-on-one -on -one interview everybody else go home we don't need you bye and I was one of the unfortunate people that got sent home so uh, still a little ticked off about that but like I said I'm going back to school so let's let's move on okay I am working on the Tamiya's and I already got this far, I already did all this. Now I'm gonna be doing the uh, the rear uprights. Uh, the wheels are already done. And then I'm gonna move to the uh, exhaust and uh, start putting together some of the pieces for the interior. And this is the, uh, the air intake. And I have all those pieces here. I just need to uh, clean them up, uh, sand them down, and then get them primered up. And this here, I'm going to show you guys in the next, in the very next clip, uh, what I discovered with this plastic filler. This is a, this is something that Dr. Cranky recommended. It's a little chunks of plastic in the uh, very thin cement from testers. So I'll show you guys that. But I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. That's the Jack's Accord, and I'm having uh, fitting issues with all three actually. If you can see right there at the bottom, the chassis kind of sticks out, and it's because the body itself is uh, it's too wide. So what's happening is that the plastic is sticking out. See, that's the worst part right there. So I can push it in and uh, wrap the body around it. But the only thing is that in order for it to stay in place, I would already have to glue it, in, uh, glue it in place, and uh, I won't be able to take it apart anymore to show off the interior. So that's that's my problem with the uh, Tamiya's with the uh, Accords. I mean, and I don't know if it's uh, something that I did wrong. Maybe when I was putting it on the uh, spray stand, they kind of stretched it out a bit. I might try the hot water trick, to where you put the body inside and kind of like. Uh, squeeze it back into place see if that does anything but um i don't know let's see what happens but that's uh this is the jacks accord she's got one blue uh center thing and then one red came out real nice i like it in that gray color too <laughs> but they're coming along all right guys i'll see you in the next clip all right guys this this plastic filler uh, it's a trick from uh, Dr. Cranky um, it's the thin cement and then you get like these little pieces of plastic like these from the sprue and all you do is just throw them in there Boop. toss them inside and then the plastic it's the the cement is gonna melt it down um, you can use it as a filler this is what I have it for but I'm pretty sure other people have uh, used it as a glue which is it's still glue what the hell am I talking about it's still it's still cement so on these pieces this is the 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 exhaust tip and you want to put them together but it's gonna cause a seam line so what this will do See, the pieces are too small for my big hands to handle. Well, Cannaman was right. I do have fat fingers. <laughs> so I get a little bit, and I just, you know, run it across. Not all the way across, because you kind of need a hole for the exhaust there. But you see what I'm doing. And then place this bad boy right in place. And what it does is that it seeps out. So rather than waiting for the uh, rather than waiting for the glue itself to uh, melt the plastic, 
you're adding the melted plastic already there. Kind of take some of this off. That was a little bit too much I put in there. So now you just gotta wait for it to dry. And once it dries, you could sand it down and you pretty much eliminate that entire seam line right there. I did it earlier with the uh, with the black exhaust. And you can't really see the seam line. I mean, I still gotta primer it and look for any defects, but as far as like waiting for, uh, for it, to uh, dry to see if I got any uh, little gaps or anything this uh, the plastic filler fills it up automatically I don't know I hope this helps you guys alright guys see you <laughs> hey guys it's uh, December 8th and uh, I, I, was, I wasn't really doing much with the model cars until just recently today uh, I started putting some of these pieces together like these, I started putting the uh, the air intakes. Also doing the same trick from the previous clip of adding the uh, plastic filler and uh, eliminating the seam lines. So all these pieces here are already uh, cleaned up and ready for primer. Uh, the only time I ever saw flash on some of these model kits, the Tamiya model kits, was on like these little pieces right here, that little round thing that's up towards the, the ball of my finger. I took off some of the flash on there. That was the only time I ever seen flash on these Tamiya kits. So, uh, like I said, all these pieces are ready for primer. And uh, in the next clip, you should see me already uh, getting ready to paint them. All right, guys. See you then. You guys, it's uh, December 9th. And I have the, uh, the bodies out, which got a little bit more light sanding. And on this one, I noticed there's a, like a little crescent line there. I don't know where that came from. The sanding, uh, the sanding actually revealed that. But I was looking at the the box art, and well, that's that's the jacks accord. So most of that there is gonna be a uh, underneath the decal. That's that area there. Or I might use that body for. The Pia Accord, which will be hidden by the black uh, decal there, the Epson decal. So I might actually do that. But um, what I did get from my fiance, she got that for me. It's uh, the Krylon, the gloss white. So we're actually going to see some white paint on these cars now. Alright guys, see you in the next clip. Hey guys, it's Box Fire 2008. Uh, it's December 18th. So working on the Accords. And yes, RS Double Model, sorry about not uh, giving you the shout out, but here's this one uh, in the actual model building clip. <laughs> this is, uh, let me see if you guys can see it right there. That is uh, the coil, or it's a, it's a wire, and I wrapped it around the needle to make it look like a, uh, what does I want to say? It's a wire that goes uh, from the steering wheel to this, uh, the drive, not the drive shaft, the steering column. And you see a lot of it in race cars. But um, to me, it doesn't supply it. I don't know why. Uh, I saw it in there when I looked at some of the actual footage of the car. So the way I reproduce this is by taking the, the, the twist ties. And peeling off all this uh, this plastic coating around it. And after I do that, I get a needle, and I just wrap it around the needle. And once I wrap it around the needle, I kind of like compress it all together, and it slides right out. And you just bend it to whatever shape you want it to. So once I get this painted up, it's gonna it's gonna give a little bit more detail to the uh, to the. Uh, to the steering part, to the steering wheel and the uh, the steering column, and pretty much the whole dash all together. So that's what I'm working on this one. All right, guys. See you in the next clip. All right, guys. It's uh, December 20th, and I already have the uh, final coats of the green 
on the Castrol Accord. And the the paint shot real good. It's nice and smooth. So um, the only thing I have left now is to mask off the areas uh, to keep them green. And then start shooting it with the uh, TS-40, which is a metallic black. So I'm getting really close to uh, putting on these decals. The other two cars are already uh, painted up. I already have them put away. They're just waiting for me to, uh, you know, move in with, uh, move on with the uh, rest of the pieces that I need to uh, put in for the the interior. So they're moving along. All right, guys. See you in the next clip. Hey guys, Boxfire 2008. It is uh, December 29th, and I've done some stuff with the uh, Accords. I've actually been painting. This is the Castro Accord. I just painted the, uh, you know, the lower half, and I'm getting it ready for the uh, the metallic black, which I have here. I already uh, decanted it. The only thing I need to buy now is a, a can of lacquer thinner so I can clean out my airbrush once I have that complete, uh, once I have that painted. Uh, what I'm going to do from this point on, this is going to be the last video for, uh, for this series. And I'm just going to concentrate on the Pia Accord, which is this one. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on that one until it's done. And then I'm just going to move on to the, to the next one. And so on and so forth for the following two kits so here I have the pieces that are gonna go f uh, in the interior of the Pia Accord I need to clean them up a little more uh, primer them and start putting it together but you can see uh, these are the that's the Pia Accord The lighting kind of sucks in my room because I have a, like a little floor lamp. See, that's the lighting right there. And that's the only light I have for the whole room, so I kind of have to deal with it myself. But those are the cars right there. All right, guys. Uh, when you see this video, it'll probably be on the 17th. Uh, the 7th. Not the 17th. The 7th of January when I'm, when I'm at school. I'll use their Wi-Fi to uh, download it. Alright guys, see you then.